Hello, Joel Boy Davidoff. I wish I was coming at you in a more positive tone, but we've pretty much blown top four. The only way you make fourth now is if Tottenham lose to last place Norwich and we beat Everton. But we need them to lose to last place Norwich. We're asking for too much there. They're last, already down. Even if Spurs draw with them, they're fourth. So there's no point even hoping for me. Um, I booked this day off months ago so I can go to this game. Day off work. And uh, it's uh, not quite quite as exciting as it could have been. I like going to the last home game of the season. Uh, I like that, like, lap of appreciation, all that stuff. Regardless of what our position is, I like that sort of stuff. But considering we were in the top four race to basically not have a chance of doing it with one game left, it's just really frustrating. Especially considering we could have done it. And we blew it. Like, we didn't. I don't think we lost top four because we lost to Tottenham. Like, I think we lost top four because there's multiple games this season that were winnable and we just, on the day, just didn't perform poor game management or whatever. Everton was one of them. Everton away. Poor result. Should not have lost that game. Uh, Burnley at home in February. We drew that game nil-nil. Poor result. Should have won. Uh, Brighton at home. Brighton obviously had a good season. They played well this season. Fair enough. Had some big wins. But at the time we played them, we should have beaten them, but we lost. Um, Samson away, another one. We normally lose to them uh, away, but still, that's no excuse. They should have been, we should have been winning that game. Um, those are just four examples. I'm sure there's other examples as well. I'd even throw Old Trafford in there. I feel like the way we managed that game, we should have definitely at least got a point out of that game. Like I, I think it's our own fault we didn't get one. So there's multiple games this season where if even one of them was converted into a win, you know, we would have been in a good position, but yeah, we've bottled it, we've choked it, and uh, that Newcastle game was uh, the nail in the coffin. I'm really frustrated, even though the whole season I've said I am not confident about top four. I've said it the whole season, I've never been confident about top four because of the games we had left. Um, but we won some of those big games. We beat Man United, Chelsea and West Ham all in a row. That was crazy, but I still wasn't confident because of the games we had left after that. We messed up too much. And I think, uh, I guess those three games in a row against uh, Palace, Brighton, Samson, that's really where it went wrong. Because if we even won one of those games, we would have been fourth right now by a point. So it's just really frustrating considering how close we were. No one before the season said we'd finish top four, which is true. Uh, maybe some Arsenal fans did, but, but, but apart from that, everyone had us outside the top four, fifth, sixth, even eighth or lower than that. But even considering that, considering how the season has gone with Man United being terrible, Spurs not being good half the season at least, we had to go an opportunity to make top four and uh, we blew it. We blew it because of ourselves. We didn't blow it because of referees. We blew it because of ourselves, I feel. And uh, we definitely should have been doing better. Not just games that we could have won, also big games as well. Um, we won more recently, sure, but I feel like we could have done better in uh, games against uh, City and Liverpool. But it is what it is. Um, it's just really annoying. We had no Europe this year. Uh, played a lot less games than Spurs. And we're finishing below them. Man United have only played four more games than us. Which is which might shock you. But Spurs, they've actually played like a significant amount of games more than us. We had a, we had a chance. And we just threw it all away. Just like that. It's just really frustrating. Um, but anyway, I would like a win today. Like, I, I prefer that we win today, have a good send-off for the team. But the season is still a failure and, to be honest, a missed opportunity. But, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to be on my way to the Emirates now. Arsenal shirt, by the way. 1930s classic. It only cost me, like, 25 quid or something off the Arsenal store. Elite, elite. Not so elite as our team. Management is wrong. Players have got it wrong. All over the place. Like, owners, board management, players, everything is just wrong with this club. <laughs> and I'm going to watch the game. Yes, a great way to spend my 40 pounds. Almost there.
I've been to over 200 Arsenal games, most of them here. Uh, six at Wembley for three cup semi-finals and three Community Shields. No, no, two Community Shields and one League Cup final. The last one we lost. Um, been to Old Trafford. We won that game. Been to Anfield 5-5. We lost the penalties. Uh, Reading, Sunderland, Blackpool. Most of them here, though. Most of them here. Uh, since 2010, I've been going. Uh, wish it was earlier than that, but <laughs> I had strict parents. Never let me go. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, been going 10 years. I've never been negative at a game towards my club, manager, players, whatever. Always been here to try and support my team. If I've ever, ever booed anyone, it's always been opposition or the referee. <laughs> never booed my own team here. And I'd always be like that. But I'd like to have my opinion. And I think with Wenger, he left three years too late. I think 2015 would have been a good time because he just won two FA Cups in a row in a nine-year trophy drought and uh, we won two Cups in a row. It was good. We were still a top four team. If he had left at that point, it would have been a good time for another manager to come in and do a good job. But Wenger stayed and uh, 2016, we had an opportunity to win the league. We bottled that. <laughs> the next two seasons, we only won the FA Cup but dropped out of the Champions League and it just wasn't good enough. So I think if Wenger left in 2015, it would have been better. Even though I love him and he's a club legend, our biggest legend, he deserved he deserves a statue um, and hopefully he gets one soon. Then Emery came in, um, his first season wasn't the worst but we couldn't get top four because we couldn't beat Brighton or Crystal Palace at home and then we lost the Europa League final embarrassing to Chelsea. It was a good season for, for the most part but it ended disastrously. But I still gave him a chance, Emery. But second season, he just went, he just collapsed completely. I don't know what happened, but I'd never seen us play so bad at the time. It was ridiculous. Games against Watford, Southampton here. I was here that day. Southampton were like 19. They came here and dominated us. And we were lucky to get a draw in stoppage time. It was an awful time. And then Arteta took over and uh, we won the FA Cup, which was nice. His first full season, finished eighth, eighth, second season in a row. Not really good enough. This season I thought, hey, you know what? If he makes top four, that's a great job. Um, and we had a chance to do it and we bottled it. So where does this end? Where does this pain end, guys? Because whatever we do since around 2016, it's not been good enough from on any level, whether it's a squad or a manager, it, it, it's both, it's everything. Now we're saying there's this idea of a project, of a process, but, <laughs> He's been here, this is his second full season. He's been here two and a half seasons now. What else do we say? Like, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure he's the right guy. Who is, I don't know, but <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's, that's the nicest way for me, for me to put it. But yeah, um, it's done now. We're not making top four, okay? <laughs> this is not me trying to jinx anything. We're genuinely not doing it. Tunnel playing Norwich and, they, and, they, and they, need, they need a draw. So I'm just here to, uh, I mean, for the vibes and uh, a good win would be nice. A win would be nice. That's all I asked for today, a win. And then uh, we can focus on next season. A YouTube name is engraved here. Do you want to see it? Sure, I'm right here. Bad, eh? Next to the Henri statue. It's nice. It's nice. Also, how much does it cost to live there? Too much, probably. Too much. I, I looked at a house. There was a house down the road from the Emirates, which is just like around the corner, next to Arsenal Station. One million pounds. I mean, th these are probably rented, but still, probably. Uh, e even for a flat, probably about half that. Still one hour and 45 minutes. Until kickoff, an Everton fan go past singing "Blues are staying up." Fair enough. I'm, I'm glad they uh, sorted out their <laughs> uh, immediate future. You know, I, I would not have liked if they came here needing a win. So, yeah, they, they seem happy. The fans do anyway.
しかないな Past a guy in a purple shirt giving out free dairy milks. I'm so confused, <laughs> but I'll take it. <laughs> really love that Herbert Chapman statue, the way he's looking at the stadium. I just always wonder like, it's outside the away end. <laughs> you talk about placement, <laughs> just outside the away section.
so ends the season. I appreciate that we, uh, you know, we scored five goals, won the game. Can't really complain about that. Um, the rest of the season, however, could have been done better. But um, yeah, it's frustrating to miss out on top four. But you know, what's done is done. To get a win on the last day is it's good. Um, the goal we conceded was pretty poor, but I'm not going to say, say too much about it. I let that go because obviously, you know, it doesn't really matter too much. We scored five goals. We played well, and. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, a good send-off, I guess. What's important now is we have a good summer. We need a good summer. We need signings. We need to sell certain players. A lot of improvements are needed, both in, well, I say both, all over the place, really. Defence, attack, forward line. We need a lot of signings. We need a big summer, and hopefully we can do that, because uh, we've got an addition of Europa League next season, so it's not just going to be the league and domestic cups. We're going to need to really get a bigger squad and a better squad to compete next year um, hopefully we'll be back but this season was a missed opportunity as a whole really because we should have made top four and as, as I said earlier there are certain games this season that we should have done better in and we could have easily got this top four position but we threw it away it is what it is but we won so you know I'll take it so I'll end the vlog here this is your boy Davidoff please like share subscribe thanks for watching have a good day and until next season I will see you in terms of these vlogs anyway. There's other videos on this channel, just not <laughs> Arsenal vlogs. Fly.